Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Rule 2020 as Italy in the uh, really Blitzkrieg scenario. Last uh, just we were just um building up our fortresses on the borders and of course I decided to try and start to uh start building some more fortresses fortresses somewhere around here and maybe a few more closer to the capital of Rome. But also, if you recall we uh, have seen Germany steamrolling one country after another. It looks like, well, ahem, Croatia is next, followed by Bosnia, Serbia, Romania, if they're lucky, Poland, nah, it's gonna be pretty soon, uh, probably Lithuania, if they don't get conquered by Belarus first before Belarus gets conquered by Germany, if they're gonna be at war someday, if that's even possible. And, oh yeah, I did a uh, test run to see what happens if I play as the UK and see if you can still cross this bridge. And, guess what? You can't. Meaning you need to have enough LST type ships or whatever transports to land anywhere else. Unless the UK, if you play the UK, you're already at war with France already. You might be able to gain some amount of territory right early on, but... Yeah, so every single bridge that crosses the border or is between the borders of every nation, you cannot cross. In this mod, at least. So that's a bit of a disappointment. Let's continue and probably see the fall of other nations. And as I said, in the meantime, we're just building up our fortresses. Whatever we can, but... Uh, just as I said that, Russia has finally conquered Kazakhstan. And there was a war with Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan as well. Although, they're gaining more territory rather quickly, of course, since the Russians have uh, not yet gained enough supply lines. China, meanwhile. Well, when I say China, and as I said that, Paraguay has fallen to Brazil. Oh wait, Paraguay's up here. Uh, but as we can see here, Uruguay is not gonna last long eventually. Sorry if I hit the mic. Argentina's gonna f hold out, possibly, for how long, who knows. And of course, their own conquest of the French col colonial territory that was up here. Also, Chile, Col Colombia, P Ecuador, per Peru, Uruguay, Venezuela, yeah. So, in the meantime, Mexico is at war with Guatemala, and it looks like Guatemala has lost some territory, if I could just take a look at the loyalty. Or, yeah, they've slightly gained some territory from their, due to their own navy, I guess, but not really much change other than Nicaragua losing some territory up here. But, whatever. Oh, and uh, Africa, the African nations, oi. Okay, Nigeria. Next conquest is Cameroon, I guess. Followed by Burkina Faso, Niger, uh, Chad, are they at war with Chad? If I could just look at the list. Chad, yep, Chad. Cote I, Cote I, Cote I mean. I don't know why I keep getting the D and I mixed up. And other neighbors. So, what about South Africa? Okay, uh, <sighs> Croatia, Croatia, and Albania is of course at war as well, but I don't know what their navy's going to be any helpful. Oh boy, oh boy. I know the curse, I gotta see if I can make it up. Of course an alliance is impossible. Everything else is impossible, and non-aggression pact impossible. Unless I give, if I have any tech. But as you can see, we have no possibility. But they have a possibility against us, which is the same could be said for every other nation for some reason. Even those that we did not ally with, that already had a possibility. Uh, I guess it would be nice to just reread the uh, description of it or any information as to why. 
Italy is getting such infamy, but yeah. Or just kind of deploy whatever units that are currently deployed and just. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, next up is Romania. Who's next? Poland eventually, pretty sure. Bosnia, Serbia, again. Moldova. Ukraine, perhaps? Well, now that I think about it, what the hell are the Turks doing? Huh. They reached Tehran, but they also just tried and do uh, their own steamrolling, but that didn't work out. Syria is holding out. George, the Georgia Republic and now Armenia are actually holding out. For how long, who knows. Bulgaria and Greece have pushed the Turkish army out. And of course, take another look at Russia's conflict. Uh-oh. Great. Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan are going to fall soon. That includes Tajikistan and I think Turkmenistan as well. Yeah. All these former Soviet state nations are going to be under Russia's control once more. <laughs> Boy. India. Uh, even with a better AI, there's really no progress against Pakistan. Vietnam. Let's see, small progress against Greater Malaysia. Some uh, progress against Myanmar. Nepal is just there's no change in territory. Bangladesh, not gonna say. Yeah. Now think of it. North Korea, China, Vietnam. All right. Okay. Uh, go back to uh, Mexico again. No. What? S really, Serbia? Come on. What's the point of you declaring war on us when you're already on your last legs? Against the Germans, especially. We're not even allied with them, after all. Rather, it's impossible to ally. Oh, God. Oh, well. Goodbye, Bosnia. Next up, Serbia. Primary enemies in the case of Portugal and Spain is Serbia, of course. But still. Let's see. Bulgaria is not at war with the Germans. They're not allied as well. So... Oh boy. Yeah, if only it was even possible to have see if there's any nations that uh, we have a possibility to go to war at all. Morocco, we don't. Libya, we don't. Egypt, of course, we don't. Anybody else? Nope. Nope. No. Every other nation seems to hate us. For whatever reason. Russia, we have a cause belly, but since we're not border animals, we a point. Sweden, Norway. Well, doesn't look like the Germans are going to land anywhere. Okay, the Germans are finally reached uh, Latvia, it seems. Oh boy. They have a cost of bill against us. So, of course, as I say, we're just going to deal with fortifying our borders as much as we can. Hopefully. And I completely forgot about this fortress. Uh-oh. There goes Bosnia. Serbia, our current enemy, is going to be next. Great. What? No, no, blah, 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 blah. Fine. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, building up this uh, fortress here, which I completely forgot. Radar station and a UK fighter just flew by. Uh, wait, what else did I put here? An airfield. And... What else? Supply Depot. Alright, Supply Depot, Supply Depot, and an airfield. Oops. And of course, 
Serbia has gone. Are they at war with anybody? Oh uh, wait. Albania. Macedonia. Bulgaria? No. Greece? Yes. Uh, Belarus is not. Ukraine, Moldova is gone to be gone. Why is there a Eurofighter? Wait, pause. Is that a Eurofighter? Yeah, it's a Eurofighter. Oh my lord. <sighs> I don't care what people would say about being able to try and hold out and try to push the Germans back but seeing as they are easily steamrolling everything I don't think I am that confident confidence boosters perhaps to some of you but uh, I don't think we're actually going to I don't think we're even at all going to win oh great Kyrgyzstan is now gone next up is Uzbekistan Tajikistan and perhaps Turkmenistan who else are they at war with? Just them. So not Georgia, not the Georgia Republic, not Azerbaijan, and not Armenia to conquer this area. More like they're going to be conquered by Turkey in this case. More facilities, our economy is dropping. Our approval rating is gone down. Shouldn't be surprised. Okay, just do whatever you want with the taxes and social spending. Oh boy. We have to try and self-sustain as much as we can. It's too bad you cannot build a bridge crossing the border since you have to do it in your own territory. Like this. Of course, this bridge is going to be done in another... 45 days. So these guys will be able to reach towards the front lines if need be. In the meantime though, gotta get all these goods up. There's just nothing we can do. Even if we open another front, it's not gonna change anything. At least I'm sure it's not gonna change anything. Let's see, Albania. Oh great, Bulgaria's Finally at war with the Germans. Our approval rating, our UN subsidies gone up a little. Jeez, but what kind of tech do they even have? Composite armor, body armor, all this stuff. We don't even have that stuff. We don't have any of our own. I mean. And of course we only have two research... research uh, <laughs> research centers I mean can't seem to speak today well if I'm gonna start sp I'm gonna start spending as much as I can build more research centers el um, elsewhere uh, yeah. or build one here uh, not on the eventual event in uh, inevitable front lines Just out of the question and of course, for some reason, the British are actually able to cross. Somehow, I don't understand why I seem to have trouble trying to cross this bridge, yet... I don't know. Anyway, sir... Okay, Albania's gone, Syria's gone, and... Is Israel at war with the Germans? No, they're not. Lebanon is at war with the Turks. Uh, not Germans, I mean, t uh, Turkey, I mean, for Israel. <laughs> but Jordan is at war. Iraq is not at war with Turkey, but they are at war with Kuwait and Iran. And to say the least, and to say the least, Turkey is not really smart for some reason right now. But you never know. Uzbekistan is actually holding out. Seems impressive. Uh, India is of course at war with China. It looks like they're gaining some territory, uh, supply-wise. War against Cor North Korea. 
man. It looks like the South Koreans are actually a bit held out right now. Especially with the Chinese joining it, along with Japan getting a little bit of sea territory here. I have doubts of even them getting some Korean lands. I have doubts when North Korea finally falls. But you never know. Wait, who is Japan allied with? The Republic... Oh, right, Taiwan is, in this mod, now officially the Republic of China. That's interesting. Okay, so the Republic of China, or Taiwan, whichever you want to say. South Korea and the United States. The U.S. is just going to stay out of every conflict. Of course. And I guess there are also some... Uh, supporting Mexico's expansion into Central America. Cuba's mini empire. Hmm. Macedonia, Bulgaria, Greece. Well, it wouldn't be long before Bulgaria and Greece are going to be divided soon. Pretty sure it's going to happen. Poland is actually holding out. They are pretty, they are rather tough. Moldova. Uh, not gonna say about them. The Ukraine, Belarus. Hmm. Now I'll go back to Africa to see what's going on with uh, Nigeria's war. Okay, against Cameroon that's somewhat stalled for some reason. Against Burkina Faso and Niger. Not much progress actually, even though Niger is gonna gain going to lose the most territory, of course. Oh the Ecote the Evore is gonna be falling next. Available unit, just do whatever you want. Uh Sudan and East uh Egypt's war. Ethiopia is not at war with Sudan, even though this would have been their opportunity to gain some territory if they want to. Alright, I completely forgot to check one more thing. Somalia's own <laughs> empire encirclement of Ethiopia. I completely forgot to check that as well. Great. Which means that I miss other nations when I first record this. Okay, so Somalia's one. Rhodesia, I already mentioned. Munzebek. Madagascar. Our own small colony. Well, if you even want to call it a colony, out here. And I think that's about it. I could be wrong, though. Oh, Italy is at war with Turkey. Who declared war? Turkey. And it looks like the Israelis might actually hold out, maybe even gain some territories, actually. Although I'm not so sure if... Well, even though they are at war with Turkey... Okay, Moldova's gone. Next up, Macedonia and Bul- What?! What?! China has conquered the Philippines?! How did I miss that? How did I miss a landing on the Philippines? Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Yeah, um... Yeah, the AI is really much better as the Philippines is now gone. Well, this is quite unexpected. Wow. So, who else are they war? Azerbaijan, Greater Malaysia, no surprise. India, no surprise. Indonesia, Japan, Republic of China, South Korea, Tajikistan, Tajikistan. I don't know if they're ever going to gain any territory with the Russians steamrolling the, uh, their enemies. Oh boy. Just got to build up our fortresses. 
All right, some of our main fortresses are done. Our fil our um, industrial facilities are done. Okay, Macedonia. Next up, Bulgaria, which could be divided by with uh, Turkey. Oh, that's a very bright red there. Not as bright as compared to the homeland, surprisingly. Or the motherland. Motherland? Fatherland? Fatherland. I'm trying to remember how uh, the terminology is set for each uh, different nation. No offense to but anybody I mean. Greece. How's the Israelis doing? Okay. They've actually gained a lot of territory. Although, I don't know why they're not focusing on these. Or even Syria attacking as well. Well, this is interesting. Interesting to see the Israelis actually... Well, at least for now, winning. But I highly doubt in the long run. Jordan, not oh, Jordan. It's Jordan, not Syria. I mean, I don't know why you're getting Syria and Jordan mixed up. Okay, this M113 is a little has gone a little too far. Um, they're struggling here, so well, they're doing damage, but with the rest of their armies here, I don't know. Egypt's at war with. Wait, Sudan, Nigeria, South Africa, and Libya? Do we have a causes bill against Lib- Uh, we don't have a causes bill against, uh, Egypt. What? Lump of sum, one boon, all military goods. What's our relations? Uh, kind of indifferent, or concerned, I guess I'll accept. We could use a little bit of money in our treasury. At any rate, it's best to just get our four mil uh, defense lines built up as much as we can. Some are a little late. Okay, this one's almost done. Same with here, and these are almost done as well. Iraq, you want to give this amount of money with the request of 600... Okay, that's a little cheap. If you can even call it cheap, we have this amount in our stock. But we'll just keep trying to make more as much as we can. Okay, so we already have 10 of these. But I'll build one there, I'll build another military goods here, and another consumer goods here. Uganda wants to give this amount of political power for this amount for military goods? Angola and Nigeria. Ni Angola is all the way down here. Nigeria is all the way over here as well. But... What is our power demand? Very high. I probably shouldn't be spending so damn much, but... You never know. Oh boy, Bulgaria, Bulgaria is gonna fall. Poland is on its last leg. How are the Israelis doing? Oh God, Cameroon's gone. Who's next? Um, Chad, I guess. Niger, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire. Still haven't fallen yet. Yep, goodbye Bulgaria. Okay, really Israel. Well, it looks like your initial advance has pretty much ran out of steam. Kuwait has been pushed back by Iraq. Although the new Iran-Iraq war is a bit of a stalemate, just almost like in real life as well. 
in the uh, original Iran Iraq War. Uzbekistan, surprisingly, they're holding out. Same with Tajikistan. Now, what's China doing, though? Still can't believe they actually conquered the Philippines. Um, Myanmar is not falling yet. Greater Malaysia. Well, unless Vietnam is lucky enough to actually advance towards their capital of Singapore, actually. Well... What? Uh, plus some requests... Hold on a minute. What is our relations? They are surprisingly pleased with us. Even though we're indifferent and concerned. Uh, no. Any more stuff being built? Water is going to be a main issue again. Uh, put two waterworks by these dams here. Put one there, and I'll put reclamations here, mostly. I think that's about it. Uh, the bridge is almost done. Well, uh, almost. Somewhat. Okay, our fortresses on this part of the border are finished. This strange attempt to build a natural town fortress is almost done, hopefully. Fortress over here is not done yet. Here is a bit slow. Further up, process is a little bit slower than usual. Well, I guess it depends on the terrain, I guess. And other things. Anyway, got these uranium mines. Three more days before they are rebuilt, I think, since they were conquered by us uh, for originally under control of France. Oh, uh, do I have any other ground units that are... Okay, one's all the way on Malta. Wait, is that Malta? Yeah, it's Malta. Again, you are requesting a lot of stuff, Vietnam. But... Uh... Uh, our relations are okay, I guess. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's the end of Bulgaria. Ukraine is attempting to launch attacks against Turkey, which went well. Israel's held out and are trying to take Hims, which is not looking which is not looking good for them. Wait, Somalia allied with... Yeah, they're allied with Ethiopia. You know, I would have thought maybe Ethiopia would try if they ever have a leadership of dreaming of a new Ethiopian... Reborn Ethiopian Empire. Somalia would be the best choice to attack, if they want to. Probably divide it up and conquer this much, and probably hit down south, albeit slowly, due to supply line problems. And Bulgaria has fallen. With Turkey gaining this amount of territory, with the Germans gaining the rest. Greece, I think Turkey is only going to gain up about this much if the Germans are able to reach towards the capital. Whereas everything else would probably be under German control. I don't know. Afghanistan, why not? Huh, looks like Lebanon is actually going to be shielded by Turkey, but uh, by Israel, in this case. Still interesting to see that Israel is actually holding out. Although, if only the AI would actually learn to just get as much units away from their homeland and just move out to the front lines and get as much territory. But this is the Supreme Lord AI we're talking about, even with some, uh, 
improvements. <laughs> now, what about the war against... Okay, North Korea... War against North Korea has stalled. Vietnam hasn't made any progress. China hasn't made any landings on Greater Malaysia. Or Indonesia, for that matter. Okay, looks like Mexico has gained some territory. A little bit, but not by much. Brazil. Okay, Uruguay is holding out barely. Argentina is losing a lot of territory. Uh, Bolivia, Peru, Chile. Eh. South Africa hasn't really done well, actually. Rhodesia is still around. Nambia is still around as well. And, wait, who's this? The Congo? Ah, right. What's left of them, that is. Just keep building whatever you want. Oh boy, Niger is screwed. Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, Liberia, Guinea, Sierra Leone, Mali. Oh crap. Well, Ukraine's pretty much <laughs> in trouble. And Russia and Germany are not allies. But I'm not so sure if they're going to be at war with the Germans eventually. But that does leave the question who would actually win though if they actually somehow bordered each other. Hmm. Just gonna have to wait and see if they actually do declare war. Because if Germany falls, we're gonna have to deal with a s much a real superpower Russian Empire if this were to happen. But we're just gonna have to wait. But that would be the case for Russia. If we see Russia gain so much territory, then we might join in the war. Or if anybody actually gain amount of territory, but back from the Germans. But uh, yeah, and of course Greece is in trouble as well. Yep, like I said, it looks like Turkey might gain only some amount of islands. Possibly. Not so sure about the rest of the Greek mainland, though. I don't know what the Israelis are doing. Huh, <sighs> okay. Fortresses are almost done. Well, I guess it's best to start building some new fortresses fast. Alongside, along the uh, borders, at least. Well, not borders. I mean, somewhere along, somewhere along this line, the sort of entry into Turk, into uh, the Italian land itself. I'll primarily put fortresses on the roads and railways here. But afterwards, once these are done, I'll start building up fortresses closer to the capital. Hopefully. Fortifications, uh, where is the... I'm trying to recreate the uh, order I put on this, except for the barracks and fortifications which I switched. Ah well. What's next? Radar station? Supply depots this time. And an airfield. Yeah, that's about it. So, we have three more fortresses down here. And I would like to build a line, but that's gonna cost a lot. Around Rome itself, I'll probably build a fortress here and here. And maybe here, if need be. Whoa! Uh... Okay, so you're all only going to give me heavy supply jack. Well, we could use some <clears throat> units, even if these are just supply trucks. 
And finally the bridge here is done. Okay, you guys head out to be reserved somewhere on the front lines. I think Eudine will do. Wait, now that I think of it, who else is... Uh... Okay. Reserve there. Uh, let's see. No. I'll deploy them and see if there's anybody here. Okay, that's not the case. Army? Do I have any armies that are down here? Nope, other than those that are in Malta. You guys going to be reserved in this village. This, uh, what are these? Fighters and such are going to be deployed here. Closer to the front lines, I mean, to be exact. A Puma. You are going to be out here. Okay, so we have no other units that are deployed here. Uh, whoops. We have helicopters and fighters that are here. So, they are going to be deployed. Huh. Uh, just to be safe, I'll to preserve them there. More. And I'll just deploy them to the village here. Okay, is that it? Is that everybody? Well, the supply trucks are repairing, little by little. And we have our own leopards in, res in reserve as well. Uh, I'm not going to redeploy the uh, supply units, y supply heavy supply trucks yet. At any rate, reserve. I'll go to elevated to be on standby in case of war. All the other mostly planes and aircraft are gonna be staying here on this area. Yeah, I don't get why I can't I really don't get why when I was doing a test run as the UK I can't cross this bridge. And as I said that, Kuwait has finally fallen to Iraq and Iran as well. Ah, uh, there goes another nation fall to uh, fall. Of course, this bridge is under repairs. So sorry to those who are anticipating for a war against Germany, but like I said, we don't we really cannot Oh god. Ukraine has fallen. Ukraine this time has fallen. Well, I guess next up will be Greece, Poland, uh, Belarus, and Lat uh, Latvia? L no, Lithuania, sorry. This is Latvia. Estonia, maybe. Sweden and Finland. Um, Sweden, Finland, and Norway, I don't know. I really don't care why. I can't seem to get these guys crossing the border into France or, well, France and then later on Germany, but I just didn't quite understand what was going on here. I really don't get it. Oh boy. Um, hmm. Uh, me and Mars gonna hold out, but I'm gonna pause right here and, uh,. I'm going to end right here, so thank you for watching, even if it was a little boring, but at least we did see more nations falling, and Germany is even more larger than ever. I don't know if they're going to be at war with Russia soon, but if I see the Russians actually pushing the Germans back, then maybe I might declare war. But if somehow the Germans actually win in, which would be a shock, then we're really screwed. There's no way we could beat the Germans if they can beat Russia and have a border all the way over here. Or over here if Japan declares war on Russia. 
or the Koreans as well, but oh god. I am not looking forward yet to a possible war with Germany. Like I said, I am not looking forward. Uh, but uh, hope you enjoyed this and see you again in the uh, next episode.